Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining me on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Once again, I'd like to share another prophetic word with you from the Lord today. And as with the last video, this video is being pre-recorded for your viewing on April the 21st of 2023. Thank you for joining me once again. Thank you for following my channel. And my hope is that you will be blessed once again as you hear this encouraging word today. The Lord has been speaking about rivers of living water, rivers of life, the fountain of life. And once again, this word today refers to these living waters and encourages us what we can expect when we partake of them. This word today is titled, Streams of Living Water. I'll begin with scripture. John 4, verse 10. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. This scripture makes it clear that Jesus is the source of living water. I'll begin the word. Rivers of life are being released into those who have persevered and fully stood the test. They have been brought out of darkness into the light. They have been transformed by the renewing of their minds and equipped to ride with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords into the battle that lies ahead. The armies of the earth shall gather against the Lord and his anointed ones. They shall gather and make war against the armies of the Lord. The battle is at hand, and the Son has called his beloved by his side. He has aroused a passion within them to stand with him against the armies of the world. I am giving the kingdoms of this world into the hands of the saints, says the Lord. They shall reign and rule in the midst of the people with great authority. Signs and wonders shall accompany their testimony. They shall possess the land and reign and rule over it. This is the day when the dead in Christ shall rise, and the world shall come into judgment. This is the day of battle between the sons of God and the sons of disobedience. The trumpet has sounded. The saints are taking the land city by city. They are pulling down the strongholds and going in to take ground. I am giving the elect strategy over the enemy. Their prayers and intercession are accurate, and with precision they are going forth to hit the enemy. Shouts of joy and gladness are great weapons of warfare, causing demons to flee from the midst of the assembly and going forth to pull down everything that exalts itself in the midst of the people. I am taking back what is rightfully mine, says the Lord. Every assembly of the saints shall ring praise and thanksgiving to their king and high priest. Every gathering in my name shall be filled with shouts of joy to the king of kings and lord of lords. Everywhere my people gather, I will be exalted with songs of joy and gladness, awe and delight. Praise will ring forth from the mouths of the people, and a great roar shall go up to the throne room of God. My people shall exalt my name over all the earth. They shall proclaim my lordship with everything that is in them. They shall dance before me and prophesy my words of life. They shall worship me with their whole being. 
They shall bow down before me and offer unto me the first fruits of their labors. They shall bring the full tithe into the temple. They shall not have any gods before me, but they shall worship and serve me only. This is the day when streams of living water shall be released to all of mankind, and every ear shall hear of my greatness, says the Lord, and every knee shall bow before me. I am putting all things under my feet. I am establishing a standard of righteousness throughout the earth. Those who refuse to line up with the standard shall be trampled underfoot. Those who refuse to be changed by the power of my spirit will be made dust under my feet. I have raised up a standard, and every man, woman, and child shall be judged by it, says the Lord. In this word, the Lord is describing to us what it looks like to come into his fullness to be set free from those things that have held us back, to be free to worship the Lord, to declare his lordship in the earth, and to join him and his armies against ungodliness. The Lord is releasing streams of living water that will bring all things under his jurisdiction that will bring them into alignment with his standard of righteousness. Though this word does not accentuate these rivers of living water, as other words have, the Lord is mentioning the power that is within them. And this power is to transform his people and equip them to be warriors in his kingdom to take the land, possess it, and to rule over it. And so though this word may seem inappropriately titled, it is a reminder to us, once again, to drink of these life-giving waters, so that we may be the people who exalt the Lord and proclaim his lordship in the earth. The Lord is transforming us and taking back all that is rightfully His. May we all come to a full understanding of who Jesus is. And as in the scripture in John, may we recognize the gift of God and the living water He gives. May we enter in to the depths. I hope this short word today will encourage and bless you. May the Lord be your strength. May he guide you, teach you, open the eyes of your understanding, and may he give you his living water. Thank you for listening. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Be blessed. Bye for now.